Hey guys, it's Charmise Idris here from Charmed Handmade, and today I will be experimenting with a couple of different products in order to thicken liquid soap. The first thickener I'll be using is also the cheapest, and it is plain salt. And in order to keep up with which beaker has which thickener in it, I do have different colors of washi tape so that I can track it throughout the process. And for a table salt, it is blue. The next thickener I'll be testing is Liquid Crothics, and I got this from Brambleberry, and so this will be light blue. Next up, we have Hydroxyethylcellulose, or HEC, and I got this from Lotion Crafter, and I will be tracking it with the purple tape. And the last thickener I'll be trying out today is Glucose D, and I got this from Making Cosmetics. I'll be using pink tape to keep track of this one. Alright, now I'm going to prep each thickener so that I can use them later in the video. If you do want to skip ahead, you can go ahead to the final results. But first, I'm going to take out the liquid crothics because it actually does not need any prep. I'll be able to use this straight out the bottle. I noticed that my glucose D was uh, quite thick, so I decided to just add it to a warm water bath. Um, it is in a pot right now, but that pot is not on. I just had to create some warm water, so it's sitting over there while I prep the rest of the thickeners. For my table salt solution, I will simply need to mix one part salt with three parts warm water. So in this case, I'm just going to use two grams of uh, salt and then six grams of warm water. And just a heads up, I will not be adding that full amount, so this full table salt solution, to my liquid soap. And I know I'm juggling four different thickeners right now, so I will put the uh, measurements that I use down in the description below. Lastly, I need to do my heck prep, so I will be mixing one gram of heck with three grams of warm water, and I'm going to have that warm water be about 165 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm just going to mix it up until it's dissolved. All right, y'all, this is the soap that I'm using today. This is a soap that I made from pure olive oil. That's the only oil I used in this soap. So note that your results may change depending on the oils you use in your soap, especially one like coconut oil. For each one of these thickeners, I want a full 100 gram solution. So for the table salt solution, I'll be adding 98 grams of liquid soap. Then to the liquid Corothix beaker, I'll be adding 97 grams of liquid soap. And for the heck, I will be adding 96 grams of liquid soap. And for glucose D, I will be adding 99 grams of liquid soap. Like I said, all of this information will be down in the description. And just in case you were wondering what was in the pipette, um, it was more liquid soap. I was just trying to make it accurate. So that's all.
And now that I have those weighed out, of course I have to have my control. So this last beaker is just the pure liquid soap so that at the end you can see how much thicker it got or did not get. All right, now that everything is finally prepped and ready, we can get started with the experiment. So first, let's start with the table salt. I told you I added 98 grams of liquid soap to this container. Now I'm gonna add two grams of my table salt solution. So that was the water mixed with the salt. And I'm gonna add two grams, which, <laughs> spoiler alert, far too much, um, but we'll get back to that later. As you can see, this soap got thick quick and not in a cute way. So um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna run it back on the table salt solution with a little bit less later. Next up, let's do the liquid crothix from Brambleberry. So I added 97 grams of the liquid soap to this beaker and I will add three grams of crothix or liquid crothix. So that is 3% of my mixture. For this thickening agent, you can actually use between 1% to 8%. So for a 100 gram solution, one gram to eight grams. But it hasn't even been sitting long and or sitting at all really. <laughs> and I can tell it got quite thick. So you could start with 1% instead of 3% like I did. Next up is heck. So we're doing 96 grams of liquid soap um, with our four gram solution of heck. So in that solution, it was one gram of heck and three grams of warm water. During the mixing process, I can definitely tell it was getting thicker. It was just not getting super thick, but it was getting a little thicker. And don't worry, at the end, I'll have a different way of showing you how thick each solution got. But for now, you can see what it looks like compared to the original liquid soap. And last but maybe least, uh, we are doing glucose D. And so I have 99 grams of liquid soap in this beaker and I will be adding one gram of glucose D. Um, but for this solution, you can actually add between 0.5% to 3%. So for 100 gram solution, 0.5 grams to three grams. But I'm starting with only one gram. With this one, I can tell during mixing that it got a little bit thicker, but I'm not sure if you can actually see that on the screen, but it did get a little bit thicker. All right, so as y'all can see from here that my um, salt solution actually turned into some type of slime situation. So I'm going to redo that one because obviously that's not, that's not a full representation of what table salt can do, but she makes it thick. Anyway, um, so now we're going to do a solution um, with 99.5 grams of liquid soap in a beaker with only 0.5 grams of the table salt solution. So 99.5% liquid soap, 0.5% of table salt solution. Thank you. 
yeah so this one is looking much better <laughs> much much better than my two percent solution um and so this one is the 0.5 percent solution I did notice that my glucose D was underperforming. <laughs> it was very liquid. So I decided to do a full 3% uh, solution. So I did have to adjust it, but I'm doing 3% glucose D to 97% liquid uh, soap. I heard that this one is a very good thickener. So like I said, I just wanted to give it another try and do it at the full 3%. Before we do my strainer test, I do want to do a stir test. So this is the original uh, liquid soap with nothing added. Here's the glucose D solution. It thickened up a little bit. Just a little bit though. Here's my hydroxyethyl cellulose or HEC solution. It thickened up nicely, actually. But it does look a little sticky. Hmm. Here's our liquid Crothic solution. This one got thick. So I can definitely go down to 1% on this one. So that's what I would try next time. Here's our second chance table salt solution. Performed much better, much, much better. So I really like this one and it is actually the cheapest. And uh, yeah, here's the, <laughs> there's the, uh, what, 2%? Yeah, yeah, nah. That one's not going to work at all. All right, so I was trying to figure out a way for you guys to see how thick things are without me just stirring them. So I put them through a strainer and uh, hopefully this works out. <laughs> but here is the regular liquid soap without any thickener. Here's the glucose D, and I'll put these side by side at the end actually for you. All right, here's the heck. Beautiful. All right, here's our liquid Crothix. Here's our 0.5% table salt solution. All 
And just to be fair, because I did it for all the other ones. Womp womp. I'll let you guys come to your own conclusion about which thickening agent to use. But if you are asking me about a uh, liquid soap that I have already created and I just need help with thickening, I would start with table salt because I already have it and it's cheaper and it actually works as you can see, works a little too well sometimes. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this experiment with me video. I will be doing more over on Patreon, but this was a highly requested one. So here you go. If you do like it here, please subscribe. If you want some more exclusive content, you can subscribe to my Patreon. I'll have the link down in the description. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. All right, y'all. Bye.